and I think it's time somebody heard us and heard what we have to say about our son. New at 11, the parents of Justin Ross Harris opening up to CBS 46. He was convicted, you may remember, of murdering his 22 month old son who was left in the back of his SUV in 2014. And Harris is now serving a life sentence without parole. The Cobb County case spotlighted in a new documentary that premiered tonight in Atlanta. CBS 46 sat down with his parents for an exclusive interview before the showing. It was the tragic local story from 2014 that made news around the world. His young son left in a hot car and authorities say this was no accident. Justin Harris, a 34 year old Cobb County dad who left his 22 month old son Cooper in a smoldering hot car leading to the boy's death. Harris said it was an honest mistake. Prosecutors thought otherwise. Harris's defense attorney instructed the family to remain silent. He just asked us not to go to the trial and not to talk to reporters. Okay. And we haven't, but I think it's time somebody heard us and heard what we have to say about our son. Evelyn and Reggie Harris say their son was a good father who made an awful mistake. Any of the family that they talked to, that you were to talk to, would tell you Ross Harris didn't do that, not on purpose. Harris's case is now being featured in a new documentary called Fatal Distraction. Just as the case is about to be heard again next month, this time on appeal. We're just afraid, but we're ho we're holding out hope. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah. The Harrises say their son has been a model prisoner who's relying on his faith. They say he's told them if he doesn't get out, it's God's plan. He said if lives, one child lives I'm because good. of me, I'm, I'm okay good. with it. Prosecutors said he intentionally left his son in the hot car so that he could carry on extramarital affairs without having to worry about his family. I would like to see, see Ross get a fair trial. Fair come to and our honest. Yeah. And I want to see him walk in my back door before I die. Harris's family says a motion hearing for a new trial is scheduled for mid-December. So soon we'll be covering the case. We'll let you know the outcome.